Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this tutorial, guys, I'm gonna teach you about height and width properties of CSS, and I will also tell you that what is the difference between min height and max height. So, firstly, guys, we will create a ID, and I will give it name of test. Oh, sorry, I will give it name of test. So, I will give it a border of one pixel solid. I have already told you about borders in my previous tutorials. So divide test and I will write some content to it. Right. I I am Rishabh Kapoor from tutorials with Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. Firstly, guys, I will open it in browser. Now you can see a one pixel solid border has been added to it, and we haven't set its height and width. So, firstly, I will set it width, I will give it to 400 pixels. Now you can see the width of this div tag or box, whatever you want to say, is 400 pixels. And in the same way, I can set its height also. I will type height and I will give it uh, 70 pixels. Now oh, you can see its size, its height has been increased. Guys, now I'll tell you what is the difference between height, min height, and max height. Firstly, guys, let's remove this. I will enter min height colon 70 pixels. If I refresh, it remains same. Now I will tell you what is the main difference. Firstly, I will copy this content and add a B attack for line breaker I'll copy it again and again so if I'll refresh now you can see its height its height has been increased because the content of this box has been increased means its minimum height is 70 pixels but it can be more than 70 pixels if we we will add more content to this div tag so on the other hand if we use max height now you can see the box size remains same whether the content is more in this uh, in the screen you can see the height of this div tag is 70 pixels but the rest of the content is going outside from this div tag or this box whatever you want to say so guys this is not looking well so in the next tutorial guys i will teach you about overflow properties of css and uh, with the overflow property i will tell you the solution of this problem so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos so let's see the next tutorial